discussed is that uh, once they extend the secondary mirror, there'll be about a 45 minute period uh, where they latch the mirror, where they, they make sure that it's very strongly uh, and solidly put together. And uh, during that 45 minutes, we'll be able to show you some, uh, some, some footage of the actual testing and building of the secondary mirror. It's uh, surprisingly large, <laughs> but those booms that are extending from it, uh, Julie, you may know this offhand, and if you don't, uh, when, when the booms are extended, about how far away is the secondary mirror from the primary mirror? <laughs> oh, I should have looked that up. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, the <laughs> yeah. The, uh, well, one of the privileges I had uh, working at Goddard Space Flight Center was, was watching uh, tests like this. And I, I did see the secondary mirror deployed, and it was it was it was it was to me it seemed like it was perhaps nearly two stories away from the uh, uh, the primary mirror, and uh, it's a uh, it, it's a it's a spectacular thing to see. And and, and like I said, after after we have uh, confirmation that this is that this event is concluded, uh, we will then be latching. We'll have about forty five minutes to talk more about and this. And OC DevOps on ops. Uh, this motor move takes about eleven minutes, and we'll give uh, periodic updates. Yes, yeah, so here you can see the telemetry coming in at the top of the screen that the the visualization tool is using to recalculate the position of these this mechanism, and it's a little hard to see with the black background on with the black tubes, but you can if you look carefully at the top, you can start to see the mechanism start to unfold. This is this is tremendously exciting to me. So you know, uh, as, as this observatory is on its way to its uh, its its uh, resting point a million miles away, this this huge secondary mirror configuration is is now deploying, and uh, I can I can see that the uh, the bars are changing on our our observatory visualization tool, which is based on real live data from the observatory, and the uh, the secondary mirror is deploying. This procedure will take about 11 minutes, about 10 minutes from now, we should uh, see the uh, the secondary mirror on our visualization tool fully deployed. The last few days have seen some of the most dramatic deployments uh, from the, the web observatory. Yesterday, of course, the uh, spectacular finale of deploying the giant heat shield. And today, the secondary mirror. And as you can see, uh, we, the secondary mirror is now moving away from the primary mirror. I understand it's a little bit dark in the animation, sort of bl black bars on the black background, but we can see the movement. We can see that this is beginning. So the um, mechanism that's actually lifting and, and uh, rotating this in position is at the top of the mirror there, uh, is, is where the motor is located that actually does the deployment. Um, and we have a photograph on the screen of our mission operation manager, Carl Starr. He's up in the, in the top camera shot. It's a, as you can see, it's a bright sunny day in Baltimore, which makes it a little hard to see people in the room, in the uh, flight control room in the top uh, box there. But um, uh, it's great to have it's great to have good weather while we're doing this. <laughs> Carl Starr is the you'll, you'll hear the acronym the MOM, the Mission Operations Manager. And you are looking at live coverage of the this deployment is, uh, of the secondary mirror. Lead on ops with the status. We're about halfway through the deployment. Currents are looking really good, uh, um, lower than we saw in the ground testing, and everything's looking nominal. So we've got about five more minutes to five or six more minutes to get to the hard stops. Oh, right, that. Thank you for the update. There's a nice view on our uh, observatory visualization tool. So you see this giant boom taking the secondary mirror, the focusing mechanism for the James Webb Space Telescope. The primary mirror are, are those gold segments that you see. There are 18 gold segments. 
And uh, after we have uh, confirmation that the mirror has been deployed, <clears throat> we'll have some time to look at uh, how those will be focused. That will be another major commissioning activity for the James Webb Space Telescope in the next weeks. This is the largest and most sensitive space observatory ever flown. It had to be actually folded up to fit inside a rocket. Uh, this is something that is uh, historic. We have not done this before, where things need to be unfolded to this extent. So this is uh, this is very dramatic. There are people all over the world <laughs> so happy that things so far are going well and, uh, and wishing for a successful deployment. I know that I have uh, friends of mine who've worked on the, the Webb telescope since uh, about 1995. So this is many, many decades of, of people's work and life all happening right in front of you live as we watch that secondary mirror deploy. And some of the things that are unique about this is the operation of these um, joints in space and at such a cold temperature. Um, we do have a few heaters that we warm up the motors and uh, some of the, the mechanism components, but for the most part, the joints have uh, to work in the cold environment of space, which takes special design and special coatings. Um, and as you can see, they also are quite close to our mirrors. So we have to be careful about contamination. This is also the first time to, to do this deployment in zero gravity. Every other time that we've done the deployment in uh, in a clean room, we've had to to have gravity considerations. So this is the first time doing it in zero gravity. We were talking about that yesterday with the uh, non-explosive actuators. All of these little pins that need to release to unfold different parts of the uh, the telescope. And uh, again, those were, you know, those those were all tested uh, on the Earth, where you weren't not you were not on, not in zero gravity. They needed to work in space. And Julie, I don't know about you, but every every time I see that mirror move a little bit farther in our uh, visualization tool, I'm getting more and more excited. My, my my heart is starting to beat faster and faster. There's <laughs> for me, there's a tremendous amount of joy. I mean, I, I have this this smile like on my face from ear to ear right now, as I uh, as I see this this absolutely essential component of the James Webb Observatory, the, uh, the secondary mirror, the focusing mechanism deployed. Yes, without this, without this mirror in its right position, we do not get light into the telescope. And all of those actuators, all of those pins that needed to uh, release in order to unfold this. Um, Julie, can you, can you give me an idea? I, I believe there's, there's over, is, is, are there over 300 of those? Yeah, there's different kinds and different types around. So it's kind of every time you'll read something, it will tell you a slightly different number, but it all depends on what category they count them in. Um, and for this, this, what we watched today, there was three different ones that we released. So f there is so much of that now behind us. There was a lot of work over the years to make sure that these devices worked and then, then all the different configurations that we needed them in and the different sizes to make sure that they all worked and they all worked reliably. They're very much like a, a parachute. They're, they're very sensitive to how they're wrapped and how they're handled. Um, you know, you get one chance to do it right and if you test it and it works, that doesn't mean that you've done the next one right. So you have to package each one just perfectly. And we're coming very close to being fully deployed as you can see the the top of the um, of the mechanism, the two bars there coming closer and closer to their final position of, of being in line with each other. And you can, from this orientation, you can now see uh, that the that the mirror side of the secondary uh, has the gold coating on it too in the visualization tool. Well, the Webb Observatory uh, is a, a very large mirror. It's a tiny amount of gold. Uh, I, I believe it's just a, a couple gold rings worth of gold across the whole thing, just a couple hundred atoms thick on, uh, on the surfaces. Yep. 
gold was chosen because it is it is wonderfully reflective in the infrared. Uh, this is a heat sensitive telescope, infrared light, and also gold uh, is very stable and, and doesn't, uh, unlike something like silver, uh, doesn't react chemically very much. So it's a very good thing to use when nobody can go out there to, uh, to clean your mirrors. It's, it's, uh, it's all on its own. So as the, as the mechanism continues to unfold here, the motor will drive it into a hard stop. And from that, then they will start working on the latching procedure. So we will first wait for confirmation that the mirror is fully deployed. And then after that, as they uh, go through the latching procedure, we'll have some time to, uh, to talk to our host a bit about the, uh, the testing and the building of the secondary mirror. We already have a, a lot of questions coming in through social media. We should have time to get to some of them. But if you'd like to have your question answered, just to go to hashtag ask that. And we have uh, deployed into the hard stops. So we'll move into capturing the latches and then recentering. All right, as you heard, that went completely into the hard stop. And they'll take a little bit of time to take a, to, uh, take a look at their telemetry, 